Hey, what's going on to all my movie fans out there and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with a brand new movie review and today we're talking about a new French horror film by the name of The Cursed which actually premiered at last year's Sundance and will be making its way to the US markets on February 18th in theaters. Got a chance to check it out and I'm really excited to let you all know what I thought about it and let you know if it's worth checking out in this spoiler free review. Before we break it all down, make sure you all are checking me out on all my other social media accounts. If you're new to the channel, we are on the quest of 20,000 subscribers. So if you want to be a part of this awesome community, make sure you're subscribed and you're hitting that notification bell. And as you can see on the screen now, if you enjoyed this movie review, well make sure to give it a thumbs up and also share this review to all the horror fans you know out there. But more importantly, what'd you think about The Curse? Have you seen it at last year's Sundance? Do you plan on watching it? And once you've seen it, what'd you think? Your pros, your cons, your thoughts on the horror elements, the story, the characters, the performances. What were some things that didn't work for you all? And since we're talking horror and we're looking at The Beast, aka werewolves what are some of your favorite werewolf stories and films that you have seen let's talk about that in the comment section so let's kick this review off with man I have not seen a werewolf tale in such a long time and I love the kind of new mythos and kind of the mythology that we get with the werewolves that we'll talk about here in this review. But I want to start things off talking about the director, Sean Ellis. He does such a great job in this film establishing the tone and the mood and the, the aesthetics that he creates and the atmosphere is just so dark and so gloomy. There's just this sense of like uncomfortableness while I was watching this film and as he kind of tells this film, which I don't want to give too much away about the plot, but just giving you a brief idea of what to expect with this film. It takes place in kind of the mid-1900s. We have this kind of well-off family who has this land and there's a, a group of gypsies who has their lands, it's their heritage, it's their family. Something happens with the gypsies and there's a curse on this family and particularly there's a beast that the gypsies let loose and I'll just kind of leave it at that. And again, I thought that the director here did such a great job of establishing that tone, the mood, just not knowing what's around the corner. We'll get into the beast and the whole werewolf elements of the story but I thought the direction was really strong and very distinct in this film and and just performance wise I'll get into it briefly here because I thought that most of the performances a pretty solid cast most of the performances were fine it was only one person that really kind of stood out to me and I've been a big fan of her work for a while I'm talking about the one and only Ellie Riley who plays the mom in this film and she doesn't have a ton of stuff to do in the first half of the film but it's more so in the second and third act where you see what this mother is willing to do to protect her family and in particularly her son that goes missing and what she just she's willing to fight she's willing to you know claw and fight to make sure claw and fight no pun intended because it's a werewolf story but it's She's willing to do so much to protect her family. I thought that her performance, especially in the third act, especially the last few minutes of the film, was just fantastic. So again, most of the performances were solid from our main cast, but she really kind of stood out to me, and I really felt her desperation to protect her family in this film. But going back to the mythos here, we're, we're dealing with the beast. We're dealing with an unleashed, unhinged beast, a.k.a. werewolf. And I am a big werewolf fan. You know, American Werewolf in London, all-time favorite werewolf movie. But the mythos in this film without diving to it the the way that they tell this story and how we all know kind of the the elements and the foundations of what a traditional werewolf story looks like how they become this beast and they they eat off the blood and it's just you know mayhem whenever they come across you and it's typically at night right but the scary thing about this film this beast is a beast during the day, during the night, and is always looking for a new uh, bite to eat. So I kind of love the mythos without, again, diving too much into how the gypsies kind of play into this and how this kind of overtaking of the mind and the body and the soul and how they become this beast and the aesthetics and the look on a particular scene I'm thinking about that takes place in the uh, barn was fantastic. So again, I don't want to give too much away. I'm being very vague about the actual creature and the mythos on it, but when you all see this film, I thought it was pretty unique, pretty fresh to something that doesn't really have a lot of originality when you see World of Movies. It's kind of the same song and dance, but this one plays on it and puts it on his head, and I really enjoyed the narrative there. So get into my criticism here. I mentioned how I thought that most of the cast was, you know, pretty solid. I'm not going to lie, the subplots were some of the weaker elements to me. I think of an incredible actor here who's in this film, Will Horbrook, who is brought into this situation to help find this missing kid and to help track down this beast. He has this whole other subplot involving his past and what happened to his family, and they try to bring it into the main narrative, and it just really never worked to me. And a lot of the other subplots, the house workers, the main dad, a lot of that stuff kind of fell flat to me. It just wasn't as fleshed out as I would have hoped it could have been. And then 
another thing that kind of stood out to me, a couple things. The runtime, it was a little bit long in the tooth. There weren't all the pun along the tooth. You got to love these puns, right? It was a little bit long for me. I, I didn't think, again, goes back to those subplots. Some of those subplots could have been completely eliminated, but it was almost two hours. I thought at least 10 to 15 minutes off the runtime would have been a little bit more of a tighter script. And then also, I have to mention the look of the beast the VFX, the the, the CGI, I, I could have went, I mentioned how American Werewolf in London is my favorite werewolf story, the bar is set so high, I, I, I didn't expect this film to be on that level of just kind of intensity and storytelling, but practical effects goes a long way, and they decided to not use practical effects, and I, and I just didn't, there's a scene I mentioned in the barnyard that it was incredible, but the actual look of the creature didn't work for me. So those are kind of the main things that come to mind before I give you all my overall score and let you know if it's worth watching. If you stuck around to this point in review, I appreciate you. Before you, we get into the main discussion of this review, make sure you're liking the video, sharing it, leaving your thoughts in the comments, and of course, subscribing. Overall, the curse, aesthetically speaking, atmosphere was there. The tone was there. It's very creepy. It is very brutal. I will warn you all, it's a lot of blood, and I loved it because I'm a horror fan. But all that stuff works there. There's a strong performance of, of our mother character. There's a really solid ending but there is some plots I felt didn't come all together it was kind of underwhelming underwhelming moments for some of the side characters I didn't like to design the creature but overall I take the pros and mix it with the cons I'm speaking more highly on this film than I am negatively so I'm going to give this film the curse a 3.5 out of 5 again it's a French film that came out last year it has a very limited release so far but it will be available on February 18th and if you get the chance to either see it in theaters in your local area or maybe rent it or stream it I recommend you do. And when you do, let me know what you thought of the film. Again, your pros, your cons. What did you think about the design? What did you think about the narrative? And also, I share my favorite horror kind of uh, werewolf film. What's yours? Let's talk about that in the comments. If you stuck around to this point in the video, I appreciate you. Before you leave, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Come join this community. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers, and we're building such a cool, awesome, fun community here. And I want you to be a part of it. So go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. As you all can see on the screen now, now, hope you enjoyed the review. Hope you're staying safe. Subscribe, check out my other content, and we'll catch you on the next video.